Hello and welcome. Please read the problem, pause the video, and try it on your own. Alright, they want us to solve for the value of x in the equation below. I notice we've got 64. It's a nice number, lots of great factors, it's a perfect square. And I notice the exponent, though, is a fraction. It's a little bit intimidating. So we've got to figure out what is 64 to the 1 half power. And I was tempting to think that it's 32, right? But that would be 64 times 1 half. Right? That would be 32. But multiplying by a half and raising to the half power, does that question mark also equal 32? I think we'll find no, it does not. So how do we think about this? Well, there's lots of ways, but I'll just go straight to my favorite here. Let's just play around with 64 to the 1 half power. Let's multiply it by itself, 64 to the 1 half power. Let's just see what happens. So what would we get if we did this? Well, we'd we'd have to get 64 to the first power. How do I know that? Well, we're multiplying a number, a base, and another number with the same base. And when we do that, we add our exponents. A half plus a half is 1. Well, what does this mean? Well, this means, of course, 64 to the first power is just 64. So then you're left thinking, well, what number times itself gets you 64? What is that number? And that number is 8. Right? The only number that's positive times itself Right, that gets you 64 is 8. So 8 times 8 is 64. Also, negative 8 times negative 8 would work. And in some cases, right, negative times negative is a positive. In some cases, that would be accepted as an answer as well. So, of course, here, uh, we're left with two possibilities, 8 or negative 8. Typically, though, I, uh, these kind of problems, unless it's specified, you can stick with just the positive result. So here the answer is 8. x is the square root of 64. By that, I mean the number times itself. That is 64. All right, hope this helped.